Oh, that's a good one. Have you read any other books like Call of the Reed Warbler by Charles Massey in Australia? <laughs> yeah, finished I, I finished that was the I've that was the most recent book that I've I, well, that's a lie. That's that was one of the most recent regenerative agriculture book mm -hmm. that I've read. Um and yeah, I thought it was a phenomenal book. I, that's where the ecological literacy stuff comes from, mechanical mindset. Like a lot of that stuff is now in my lexicon and it's because of the it's because of that book. It was mm -hmm. it's a it's a phenomenal read. It's like it's very, very specific when it comes to Australian regenerative agriculture and Australian natural history. But the fact that it is so specific um, makes it so much more valuable because you can understand that like books like that and, and, and information like that is and could be written about for pretty much every every location on earth that, yeah. that people want to do. It goes into what we were talking about earlier with the yeah. land management, how like, and he like, I've just started it, yeah. but he dives right into how like, you know, all of Australia's history back, you know, thousands and thousands since of years ago. the arrival ago of like, like the first peoples. Yeah. And, and like how like their fire sick farming and all that kind of stuff and how like plugging, you know, becoming part of the land you are in, you know, nesting yourself into that little part of you know creation or whatever and making it and and not becoming a uh, you know like a negative yep. draw instead like yep increasing the the commons or whatever yeah you you like become part of like the new equilibrium basically mm -hmm. and like right and right now with the way that w the humans at large in 2021 are like treating the earth we are not reached an equilibrium we are mm -hmm. just pushing it down this downward slope and so what we're like the, anthro what is the anthropocene. anthropocene yeah it's yeah. like we in order to in order to achieve that balance we need to start like regenerating a lot of these resources that we've been extracting for decades and decades and so mm -hmm. once you reach if you're able to reach that equilibrium where now you're part of it as opposed to just trying to take it from it as much as you can while it's still there I mean, this is getting to a whole different philosophy. Books like, like that just yeah. get your head spinning. It's really well written. It's not like super yeah. heady and hard to understand. It's, oh no! It's 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 really well written. It's just just like lots of like awesome information and 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 thoughts for sure. It's an awesome yeah. book. I think anybody interested in that kind of stuff, you have to read that book.